Tadadun, 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 tadadun. I told you once at the time, don't call me. How, how you know it's me? I know you. I know you. Even my phone start doing jiggy jiggy when you call me. How, how, what do you mean the phone doing jiggy jiggy? I'm telling you the second you call me, my phone start doing jiggy jiggy, and I know exactly it's you. Brother, this is like a miracle. So your phone do jiggy jiggy just because I just called you? Absolutely, and I can prove it to you. How you can prove it to me? If you go to the Quran, chapter 2, and then chapter 10, it said that Jiggy Jiggy Christian Prince. Unbelievable. In the Quran, it says that about Jiggy Jiggy and about Christian Prince? Absolutely. And brother, Jetta, this guy, he will call you the Jiggy Jiggy. And the Jiggy Jiggy of Allah is the best Jiggy. Don't sell it to him. Thank you very much. Don't call me again. Thank you. Let me call the FBI. Hello? Uh, uh, FBI agent? Can I talk to a female agent, please? Well, I'm an Arab. I don't talk to the female, please. What? Well, I have a very serious, important news, but I'm telling you, we, I am an Arab, we like to take off the talk only to female agent, and she has to have a camera, and she has to be blonde. If you don't have that, I will not say a secret. Okay. And be careful, she has to be blonde. Yeah. Very blonde. Absolutely. If you can find me someone, she is a transparent. No, 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 I'm not talking about you, FBI, you are trying to be transparent in your investing. No, no, this is not my... I am... I'm asking you about the women she have. She is so white, to the point where you can see through the marrow of her bones. Yeah, yeah. You don't have that. Okay, I will hang up on you. I'm going to call the CIA. Maybe they have such a description. Why? Because you don't have a woman who can talk to me and understand me. The Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, said that he, Allah, will give us women who they are transparent and we can see the more of their bones. And I want to see that before I go to, he to heaven. Why you don't have that? Aren't you uh, very white people? Huh? You don't have such a thing? Hmm. Okay. Tereden, tereden. I told you, I told you 1,000 times don't call me. Brother, we have a question about medicine, it's very serious. Because we are Muslim and we are very merciful, I'm going to take and help you. What is the problem? Brother, it says in the hadith that the Prophet was the most weak person in sexuality. And he invoked Allah and he sent a dish of shish kebab with Jibreel and after he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. Does that make sense to you? My friend, absolutely this doesn't make sense. It makes sense, not sense. As you see, the hadith is speaking, not speaking about making sense, it's speaking about a miracle. The Prophet, he invoked Allah, and Allah, he went to his kitchen, and he made a special food for the Prophet. It was, at that case, spitted tasty kebab. Okay, so shish kebab, so if I eat shish kebab today, I will get the power of 40 men. Absolutely false. Because the shish kebab have to be made by Allah, and delivered by Jibreel, to be sure it is genuine. Okay, so, if Jibreel deliver it, it's a genuine. If somebody else, like the pizza guy, something is false. Absolutely true. So we have to be sure that it's made by Allah and it's a thicker, it's, the thicker it's halal. I mean, I'm really convinced. Victor Zak and Nay. Victor, why the Prophet, after he ate it, he got the power of 40? What not? Why not 41? You are very stupid. And I tell you all what you are very stupid. You did not see in the auditory, it said Alibaba and the 40 thief? Yes. Okay. Always very religion. They are 40 in all the stories. Because this is the perfect number. So the Prophet, he got the power of 40 men because he got the power of the 40 thief, which was with Alibaba. Oh. So the Prophet, he got the power of the 40 thieves. Absolutely. Because they are thieves, it's very well known that thieves are having very little hygienic quality on text. Boom, boom. And because of that, the Prophet, he got the power of 40 thieves who used to work with Alibaba. Well, I, I never thought about this before. Absolutely, must be true. I told you, I invite you right now to convert to Islam and to say tahada. Uh, brother, can I invoke Allah and ask him to do something because I have the same problem as the Prophet he do? Absolutely, you're a liar. And I know that you don't suffer from that problem. How you know? It's something private, sexuality. How you know I don't suffer from this problem? I can tell you from your voice. You are a liar and don't call me again. Uh, brother, Zakir Naik, can you introduce to us why the Prophet and how the Prophet he was bewitched? First of all, I told you 1,000 times, when you speak about my Prophet, you have to speak with the pig. Our Prophet was bewitched, but was a very still bewitched. What do you mean very special? I mean, how he was bewitched? Somebody take some hair from his testicle and he controlled him by remote control. And he was a do. He was a Jew? Yes, he was a do. And this is the proven thing to be correct. How you can prove that somebody can take care of somebody's testicles if you can control him from far away? Can you give us some hair so we can control you? Be careful, you are talking to Dr. Nayak and I'm very recommend. You are not respectful. Yes, but you just told me that somebody can control somebody by taking hair from his testicles. How that can happen? First of all, the Prophet was protected by Allah. So if Allah protects the Prophet, how somebody can control him by some hair? You explain to us. Think that happened, my friend. Uh, my friend.
So the prophet was under the control of the black magic and he was able to control him that do it man. A brother and sister. All of us will have teeth. And all of us will have a teeth at home. And if you have a Mickey Mouse at home, he will eat your teeth. Do you accept somebody to eat your teeth? Absolutely not. And this is why Mickey Mouse must die. And actually, if you have a mice at home, don't you put a poison for it? Let us be honest here. Don't we put poison for the mice? So why are you making fun of putting fatwa on the Mickey Mouse? Which is the mice? Thank you very much. Sit up. Absolutely. I mean, we kill mice at the home. If you have a mice at home, and why you are being hypocrite? What's wrong with you? Everybody kill the mice if it's home. So it best because it's a Muslim who said we have to, 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 to kill Mickey Mouse, you get upset? Uh, uh, but the brother Zach and Ike, this is a, a cartoon. <laughs> it's a cartoon, you idiot. <laughs> Unbelievable. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, brother, uh, Christian Prince, Christian Prince, I told you. I told you don't call me. I told you if you have a question, call Abbas. Abbas, he can answer you. He can refute you and he can get you busted. Uh, but Abbas have no idea and now he's snoring, so we have nobody except you, brother. Okay, what is the question? Uh, the prophet said that shaitan, that yawning is from shaitan. And when you do yawn, shaitan, he jump inside your mouth and he laugh at you. Is that true? Absolutely true. And I can do now a presentation for you. What do you do? Um, you do yawning? Absolutely. So yawning is true and proven. Uh, yeah, we know everybody do yawn. But is it true that shaitan, he jump inside your mouth and he laugh at you? I will give you an example. When you do yawning, first of all, you are asleep. And that means Shaitan, he can take over you. So he didn't full control. And now he's so happy and so excited. Why he's so happy and excited? Because now you are going to have, as an example, a sexual dream. Your wife is ugly. And now it's your opportunity to think about a woman she is very, very beautiful. So Shaitan now is very excited. And that's why he dumped in your mouth and he's dancing. Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, have you ever seen Shaitan inside the mouth of a Muslim dancing? Absolutely. Actually, I did record him with my slow motion cell phone. You did record the shaitan dancing inside the mouth of a Muslim with a slow motion cell phone? Absolutely. Because simply, this is the truth and I can prove it. Okay, why you don't load the video on YouTube? Because it is haram. It's haram, brother. The Prophet said, Big Star is haram. And we cannot Big Star that shaitan for you. Ah, because it's haram, you will not post the video. Ah, okay. Well, thank you, Zakir Naik, for your reference and for your confirmation. Thank you very much. Brother Sitar. Brother Sitar, there is an aunt. She met a prophet. And the prophet, he learned from her a lot of wisdom. This aunt, she went around the earth. Hey, brother, how the aunt, she went around the earth? Brother, this is a very good question. Thank you very much for the question. I appreciate that from you. What's your name, brother? Uh, my name is Abdul Mastool. Oh, Abdul Mastool. Okay. Abdul Mastool. Oh, okay, Abdul Mastool. Sir, Abdul Mastool, not Mastool. Okay, Abdul Mastool. Okay, let it go. Hey, brother, this aunt was able to speak all languages, brother, because he was hiding in the back of someone work in Discovery Channel. Literally, his name is Columbus. And wherever he go, he go with him. He learned Spanish, he learned Portuguese, he learned English, he learned Latin, he learned Arabic, he learned all languages. So when the time she met with the Prophet Suleiman, she was ready to talk to him in any language he want. Alhamdulillah. Tadadun, tadadun. Tadadun, tadadun. Hello? Uh, may I talk uh, to Allah, please? This is Jibreel, who's this? Uh, I am the genie who protects the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, what do you want? I want to report a very dangerous incident. Explain. And give me first your name and your genie ID. My genie ID is 0002070. Okay. I know you are now. All right. What is the story? Some Muslims, they accuse the Prophet that he stole a bikini. And it is a red bikini. And now the Prophet, he looks horrible in front of the believers. What is it? The great believer Muhammad that he stole a bikini. Absolutely. And then, Jibreel, he went to Allah. He knocked at his door. <coughs> Who is this? Hello, can I talk to you? Jibreel, you always bother me. And you come in the wrong time. Don't you see I'm busy watching Mr. Bean? Sorry, Allah. I have a very urgent news. Okay. Stop the TV, please. We will watch Mr. Beans later. Allah, please do something. The believers accused the prophet that he stole a bikini. He was in Miami Beach and he took it. Are you serious? Absolutely, Allah. Mm. That's very dangerous. Absolutely, Allah. You know. Absolutely, Allah. The most silly thing about you? Absolutely, Allah. That you are so stupid, you keep repeating the same word. Absolutely, Allah. Forgive me, guys. I made the angels to program to repeat the same words. I want you to take this verse 
I just wrote it and delivered it to Muhammad. Now Jibreel, he took the verse and he went all the way to Muhammad. Wee, 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 wee. He knocked at the door of Muhammad. Muhammad, he opened the door, he gave him a verse. And what the verse saying? It is not for a prophet to steal. What? Hey, brother and sister, if you can find better than the prophet Muhammad, I tell you, and let us debate together. I can assure you that in the Quran, they did a lot of miracle. I did an example. The Quran, he did a lot of miracle. And I can count for you in this example. Like as an example, uh, as an example. Um, Give me the paper. Uh, as an example. Not the paper. Yeah. Uh, as an example. Okay, I get the paper. Uh, as an example, the speed of the light. As an example, we Muslims, we lie in the speed of light. And nobody can beat us on that. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. I told you, I told you 1,000 times, don't call me. I know that you are Christian friends. And you change your voice, I think I know you. Hey, brother, I just have a question about Mr. Donkey. I don't care. I don't, don't ask me question. I am done. Hey, brother, why the Prophet, he said, if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make the head of the Abdul a head of a donkey. Actually, this is a problem to be accurate. If you look in my country, you will find a lot of faces look like donkeys. As an example, look at me example. I, when I was outside, I read my faith before the Imam, and look what happened to me. I'm trying to grow my beard, never grow. And this is the proving that this is true. And never call me again. Thank you very much.